Cool. I wonder if Gabe could hit even harder. Oh, of course, but we'll need another 145 parts. Yes, more wow. parts. I had a feeling. So many robots. So little time. Must beat them all in the face with that rake. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. I, had <laughs> I didn't talk to her about the goop. Hold on. <laughs> well, the window is open. <laughs> Have you checked out that goo? Any ideas what that slime could be? My theory is that it is spent lubricant ejected from the machine. But that Brilliant. doesn't... <laughs> but that doesn't account for its strange color or its unique aroma. Well, given what the robot does... <laughs> what should we be doing now? Something occurred to me earlier while I was working on a theorem. Something may have sheared off the robot's superstructure when it came into contact with your house. I think you mean home when it came into contact with my home. Yes, I'm sorry. Your home. So, I should head back there and check it out. You should return there, if you bring, if you can bring yourself to do so. I'll continue my research here. I do remember seeing a giant red screw. Yes. Uh, Leaking purple steam, as I recall. Yes, yes. Gouts of it. Whole gouts of it. Oh, God. Mimes. <laughs> that's that's um, quite a few mimes, actually. Oh, excuse me. Man, what is with all the goddamned mimes lately? It's like a mime a minute. Maybe it's mime day? <laughs> yeah. Apparently he's glowering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe he has to air spell it. Just to be sure. Well, repeated punching yeah, is always a good thing. Missed the block. Yeah. I'm not sure I should be enjoying the idea of shooting a mime so much. <laughs> I don't know. I think you should be. <laughs> I mean, it's true it's not politically correct, but then neither are we, so who gives a fuck? <laughs> I want to get an overkill on these guys so I can show you just how amazing it looks. Stop throwing imaginary rocks. It's just pretentious and irritating. The scary thing is, it actually hurts. <laughs> it's like the placebo effect. Yeah. You believe the rock is there, and therefore it cracks you over the skull and gives you a concussion. Yeah, overkill. Wow, okay, that's a gibbed mine. <laughs> Yay, overkills. Is that just like his legs left over? His legs and half of his torso. Mm. Lovely. Mime soup. May maybe those mimes were always here. I guess they are pretty quiet. Is there a service that gets rid of mimes? <laughs> okay, that's all they say. Mime exterminators. <laughs> pretty sure I've seen a sketch based on that. And here we meet. The Mime Pope. Wow, they've done some redecorating. <laughs> this strangely garbed mime is not merely silent. He seems to radiate silence. Small hairs dance on the back of your neck. Whoa. Okay, who is that motherfucker? This isn't some kind of mime holiday. I take it back. We're witnessing some kind of ritual. <laughs> Sweet sorcery, bro. Hey, that looks like a great evil ritual. Mind if I join in? Well, they're mimes, so asking is probably not the best way to go. <laughs> mime, mime, bobime. Banana, fana, fo, fime. Me, my, mo, my, mime. 
Mime. Ma-I'm. Wow, this guy doesn't fuck around. Truly, this mime is ready for prime time. Okay, that was okay. <laughs> Are you going to Scarborough Fair? <laughs> Parsley, sage, rosemary, and mime. Good lord. <laughs> well, I liked it. Hey, uh, about your mom. Your mom is a bitch! <laughs> Oh, man, I thought that would get him for sure. <laughs> this reminds me of American tourists outside Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Trying to make the Grenadier Guard do something. <laughs> Which is hilarious until one of them touches them, then they actually can do something and tend to beat the crap out of whoever did it. Yeah. Well, it does depend on what they're doing. Like, they can come up and take a picture, can't they? <clears throat> As long as you don't touch them, they can't move. If you touch them, then they're free to do whatever they feel like and then return to their post. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So, pretty much if you, like, go up with a camera and put your arm around one, you might get lucky and get one who, you know, is just like, okay, yeah, take a picture. and Or you might get unlucky and have one that's like, if you don't fucking touch me, I'll, if you don't stop touching me, I will break your arm. I suppose they could probably get pretty antsy standing there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you did your best, you know? Oh, yes, the there's Silent his name. Pope. The Silent Pope. That is his name. <laughs> the Silent Pope. Nice. Well, assuming he's not going to give us his name, we'll have to give him one arm. Yeah. Some. Frown. I have no explosives, okay. You have what looks like hand sanitizer. That one? Yeah. Liquid, Liquid armor. armor. Defense Convenient. plus 100%. Not that we need it right now, but... No, no. Well, I mean, they hit somewhat hard, but we're fine. Ah, oh, yes, counterattack. Yeah, try and stab a man with a machine gun. See how far that gets you. <laughs> Damn it, Kemper. <laughs> and another counterattack. Getting much better now. And now he gets shot and beaten with a rake. Mm -hmm. He gets gibbed with a rake. <laughs> Bam! That's quite an impressive hit with a rake. It Just is. Taking his entire upper torso off. <laughs> yeah. It's raining bits of mime. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's raining bits of mime. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do all seem to be men. True. True. Point in fact, I've only ever seen two female mimes in my entire life. Really? Yeah. Give me, give me and I credit where it's due. They did actually look kind of cute. You know, short, <laughs> bob-cut hair. Aside from the weird white face paint, they look reasonably attractive. Oh, nice. Mrs. Dingleberry. <laughs> there are some unfortunate names in the world. <laughs> well, you know, at least it's not Dingleberg. Dingleberg! <laughs> I think Dingleberry is pretty bad. It's a reference to um, a farm animal issue where <laughs> their fur gets too long and they get stuff caught in it, shall uh. we say. Hot toddy! That is, that is an effective toddy. That, that, yeah, that worked quite well. Good old-fashioned British firebombs. <laughs> Damn it! Honestly, if that mime is so skinny, that rock shouldn't have done much. <laughs> I don't know, he was having a lot of trouble lifting it. So it must have been pretty big. I'd like to see them miss sometime, that would be entertaining. So he just picks it up and chucks it and there's a small puff of dirt just in front of him. <laughs> I 
I do and I don't like how the enemy can block you as well. I mean, it makes sense for normal attacks, but when you've done a perfect special attack and it stops you from getting a an overkill, that's just sort of like, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, that is a little bit harsh. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't like seeing gibbed mimes all the time? Yeah. Ha, huh, the remains of the orange. <laughs> have you noticed that I have won the initiative every single time? I suppose you've got an advantage there, then. I have always been lucky. Especially with the... Well, not especially with D20s. But, I have always <laughs> been lucky. I've been lucky with D6s, that's about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm a fairly uh, new Warhammer 40k player, but I managed to successfully save my guardsmen from running like little whiny children. Nice. Which, for anyone who knows the Imperial Guard is aware, is rare. Uh, yes. And mine gibbs. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and do a normal attack. See, there is when they should do a partial block. Hmm. When you're doing a normal attack. And I missed Yeah, that. I mean a, a casual smack with a rake should be blockable. Yeah, but a special attack should not be. Especially since it can take the upper torso off a of mime. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think holding your arms up is going to help much. <laughs> the great thing about support characters is as you're using them, the, uh, the, the gauge that tells when you can attack uh, doesn't stop for you or the enemy, but you will always attack before the enemy will. So you can actually get off a lot of attacks while the support is building, is doing their stuff, or like get a lot of special attacks off. That's convenient. Double burst. Shiny. Yes. Oh, it stopped leaking purple. There's definitely something in there. I mean, we can see it from <laughs> the road. <laughs> Symbols seem to swim and dive beneath the surface of the steel. You hope it is some trick of the heat. <laughs> a tree cursed bolt. <laughs> it feels like something is scrabbling inside it, like a swarm of starving mice. Man, just let's get the fuck out of here. Back to Anne Claire's. So demons and robots. And I think And evil minds. Will, I think we will end this uh recording session here. I think we've got a good two episodes out of this. Good times then. Alright. And uh we will see you guys in the next couple of episodes of Penny Arcades on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness. Episode one. Say bye, Hugh. Bye bye. Okay. That came out so wrong. <laughs> Not as wrong as moist news, child. <laughs> <laughs>